Hey guys, this is the EC Service Tech Channel, and today what we're looking at is a Duotherm um, Undermount RV or Mobile Home Air Conditioner. This one here is 15,000 BTUs, states it right here. Uh, this model number is 39045, period two, 522. Alright, anyway, um, so this unit is actually mounted underneath the trailers, alright? So it's actually lagged right into the floor joists, all right? So you have four, four lags and plates, just like this, all right? What it is, is it has a four inch by four inch um, air opening on the top of this thing, where it, it actually connects into the uh, bottom of the trailer, all right? Here is where you'd connect a 10 inch return, all right, where it goes to uh, the floor grill, wherever that is located at in the trailer. All right, uh, at at that spot in the the grill and the floor is where the filter is usually housed. All right, so you can change your filter inside the trailer typically. All right, um, this is where you get to all the electrical in order to do the servicing for this. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and take this out, take this cover off, check it out. All right. A little hard to get to, so basically, I figure you already have taken the skirting off on the trailer, all right, to get to get to the side of this, all right, because you'd have the uh, the actual coil, all right, the condenser coil, which is located right on on this side right here, um, that will be exposed to the outside normally. Uh, sometimes they have them buried under the trailers, but normally that's to the outside, all right. You take this one screw off to get the electrical compartment, all right. And the problem is there's another screw up here, and it's behind the metal. All right, to get to that, you're going to want a ratcheting wrench. This happens to be an offset wrench, which is not necessarily what I would like, but uh, <coughs> you got to use what you have on hand. Uh, worst case scenario, you can use an open-end uh, box end or box end wrench. All right, so we're just going to set that up in there. Okay. Now, what you might need to do just so you know, is you're going to have to pull down on this cover, down this way a little bit, just to put tension on that screw so that your ratchet wrench actually can ratchet. Otherwise, you might just be turning the screw to the right, then to the left, turn the right, to the, then to the left, all right? So at first, when I had come up on these in the very beginning, I didn't know how to open them up, and it was just a pain. You know, I just didn't realize how, all right? But uh, once you get used to working with them, they're a little... A little bit better but still a pain as you can see there you go <laughs> trying to get the screw out is a real pain it is a half an inch it's only half an inch right here that's it there's not much room at all all right so you got to do what you got to do so get the cover all right cover call it up on some stuff right there so now we got the cover down okay you still can't get it out now it's you can at least potentially work on it in here, all right? But uh, we're going to want to get this out. So I'm going to show you just a little trick here. All this just to get into the electrical compartment. <laughs> but anyway, so so that's what you do. If you see what I just did, I was prying with my pry bar like this or, or downwards, all right? And that opened up a gap here in order to pull this out. Remember, it's actually literally half an inch or it could be less. Just a little bit, just because of where this air conditioner is positioned with this frame. All right, so that's that. We got the cover off now. You have your high voltage right here. All right, you have a hot black and a common white. All right, the wires are usually mounted right into the side of here. You have your high voltage and your low voltage wired in here. This is 120 volts. All right. Once again, this is the hot, you have your common, and the ground just gets connected to the wall in here with the green screw. All right, there's a transformer in here. It's a 120 volt to 24 volt transformer, if you can see that. Uh, then you have, off of, off of that, you have some control wires, all right? The red comes immediately off of the uh, transformer, all right? The yellow is connected to a relay that turns the compressor on. And the blue wire is connected to a relay that turns the fan motor on. All right. Um, then you have a brown wire that's connected to the other side of the coils of those two relays, like these two black relays right here. And it goes to the transformer. All right. <clears throat> so 
Um, so these are your control wires. Red is your power, Y is your cooling, and in this case, blue is not common. Blue is for the blower motor. So you can turn your blower motor on just by itself if you wanted to, or you can turn it on, you know, with the uh, with the air conditioning unit, right? All right, so so you have these two little fan relays in here. If you can see that, I don't know how well you can see it. Maybe that's a little bit better for you. Those two fan relays, all right. And then right here you have a capacitor. It's a dual capacitor, all right. If I spin this, I should be able to read the number on it. This one's a plastic, plastic version, all right. It's a 60 plus 10 UF at 370 VAC, all right. Actually, this one just says V, but that's what it is. 60 plus 10, and UF means the same thing as MFD, and it's at 370 uh, volts. All right, so you can replace this capacitor with a normal uh, metal one. All right, it's a dual capacitor. There's a, a common fan and herm on it. All right, and you just replace the wires in the like way. All right, if the capacitor is bad. All right, you can uh, certainly check out. I have a bunch of other videos on uh, checking capacitors and checking fan relays and stuff like that. Um, so if you want to check out the channel, you can check those out. All right. Um, this right here is a positive temperature coefficient resistor. All right. This right here helps the compressor, the refrigerant compressor, to turn on. It actually bypasses uh, the Herm spot on this, uh, this capacitor right here. It actually bypasses it and goes around it, see where this white wire is connected to the capacitor, actually comes to here, uh, to the PTCR, all right, and then it comes through and connects to the red wire that goes to the starting coil on the compressor, all right, and it immediately uh, gives it an inrush of current and voltage, um, turns on the compressor, and then as soon as that happens, it's like about half a second, this thing heats up right here, and when it heats up, uh, the it ends up having a lot of resistance on it. And it does not allow um, the current to flow through. All right, so it's in essence, it's actually opening itself when it gets hot due to the amperage running through it. All right, so that's how that works. So, <clears throat> just say with the power off, and you pull these two terminals off here, and you tested them with a multimeter uh, for resistance, it should have a very, very low resistance in ohms. All right. Um, and uh, if, if like, say you just turned this compressor off, it was running, you would need, say, anywhere between two to five minutes for this thing to cool down just to be able to close the electrical contacts inside. It's like a, it's like a, like a conductor, ceramic conductor inside of this thing, something like that. All right. And, you know, ceramic is not usually a conductor, but it, inside, it, that's a, actually a, a certain type that, that does conduct. All right. Um, but uh, basically, it's the same thing. You know, you can replace this uh, transformer with the same VA transformer if the transformer is bad. You can replace the capacitor if the capacitor is bad. You can replace these fan relays with a, just a normal-looking fan relay. Normal-looking fan relay that you might have in the uh, service truck. All right, this is an 8-amp fan relay. This is a 12-amp fan relay. Just make sure the relay that you're replacing these with is the same or higher um, for the amperage. All right. Um, some of these units actually, instead of having a, what looks like a fan relay, it's a general purpose or multi-purpose relay. All right. So you can replace, replace these with this as well, but just once again, make sure that your ratings are higher. And, um, like I said, I have some videos on, on, on these and, and checking them out and what they look like when they're burnt and stuff like that. All right. Um, there is no common coming out for the thermostat wire, but you can take it off of the transformer up here if you wanted to run a digital thermostat and hardwire it. You would have to take a common from up here and attach that common to your digital thermostat. Otherwise, you're just going to run a digital thermostat with batteries that you'll change once a year. So that's something that you do during your preventative maintenance is you would replace those batteries. This particular thermostat, that Pro 3000, is what I usually use to install. Um, and you can actually take the jumper out if you have a uh, propane furnace in the inside. And this air conditioner, you can power them all off the same thermostat just by taking that jumper out. All right. And just so you know, also on these thermostats, the G, when you energize a G, it's for air conditioning. It doesn't turn the heater fan on. Uh, typically, 
um, but you can actually wire it whatever way you want to wire it. Um, you know, you can use the G to connect, but all right. So uh, I replaced this unit with a Coleman Park Pack AC. Uh, the number is 46413-912, and that uh, Coleman one had the four by four inch air opening on the top. So a little bit different on that in a different spot. So you may need to uh, move your unit a little bit uh, or cut a new hole in the ductwork a little bit in a different spot because you might have an I beam coming across the the bottom of the mobile home. Uh, so just keep those things in mind. Definitely, definitely keep that in mind because that'll mess you up if you uh, think you're going to go in the same hole and then and then on top of this new unit it's in a different spot. But uh, you know that one, the Coleman Park Pack is actually thirteen thousand five hundred instead of the fifteen thousand. All right, but they say it has a stronger blower motor, so it can actually push the air a little bit better. All right, so. That's that, and I uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.